a roaring fire, handmade wooden furniture, and plenty of soul-satisfying food. The tipsy toboggan just might be the perfect spot after a day on the slopes. Decorated with skis and sleds and snowshoes, it's got everything a cozy mountainside chalet would need. Well, except for one thing, a mountain. Mountain, yeah. <laughs> Hours away, but you would think you're right next to it. You really would. That's right. The only skiing you'll see here is on the TV because the tipsy toboggan is nowhere near a mountaintop. We're located on the waterfront in Fall River. Because there are no mountains near us, we simulate the atmosphere of a ski chalet. It's your little getaway without driving four hours. So how did this place end up in Fall River? Owner Michael Lund is an avid skier who wanted to give everyone a chance to experience the best part of a ski trip without actually Actually having to strap on skis. What they recall, what they liked most about going up north and skiing for the weekend was after a long day, being in the bar, being by the fire and hanging out. So we tried to recapture that. And according to general manager Shannon Raposo, the enormous wood burning fireplace at the Tipsy Toboggan really is the hottest seat in the house. Everybody kind of walks through the door and says, let me go see that fireplace. And what I love mostly about the fireplace is that you can actually sit on it. Like it's all brick all the way around. It's like the warm place in the building and so it just makes you just want to stay and not leave. Starters here are anything but ordinary, with choices like blackened tenderloin tips and mini potato pancakes in a pool of gorgonzola cream sauce, and fresh Newport Little Neck sautéed with chorizo, roasted corn, garlic, white wine, and butter. I like the Newport Necks because I'm 100% Portuguese, and I grew up with that flavor, the, the garlic and the butter and the wine sauce, and so you definitely want to take your bread and dip it all in the sauce and definitely clean the plate because it's delicious. Another favorite is the stuffed quahogs made with Chef Tim Smith's secret recipe. I've been making my stuffies for years and people have raved about them. Little old ladies, little grandmothers, Portuguese grandmothers asking me my recipe, but I won't give it up. It's Tim's recipe. He brought it with him when he came. It's been the wow factor. Everybody has to get a stuffy when they come in. As you can see the green and red peppers, the stuffing mix, the clams, chorizo, bacon. You can't see the love, but it's in there. I promise you. Another dish that's filled with love is the buffalo chicken dip. Even though Chef Tim didn't exactly feel the love, when he first took over the kitchen here. Buffalo chicken dip was here when I came on board. And as a chef coming into a new restaurant, I said, what is this? You know, why don't we serve in buffalo chicken dip? And I tasted it. It's unbelievable. This is like the most amazing buff dip. It comes in a bread bowl. It's cheesy, it's spicy, but it doesn't have like that crazy, crazy spice that you can't enjoy it. I wouldn't have thought it, but it's absolutely delicious. And it's a big plateful. You can share it with your friends. You rip off pieces of the bread bowl and dip it in. It's magic. Entrees at the Tipsy Toboggan are heavy on seafood and comfort food. From the ocean, there are beer-battered fish and chips, a lobster-topped filet with gorgonzola cream sauce, and a luxurious upgrade to traditional shrimp scampi. We have lobster scampi, so we went a little bigger on that. Why do shrimp when you can do lobster? As for comfort food, the pork buco is a must order. Slow roasted for seven hours until it falls off the bone. And the base lodge burger always hits the spot, piled high with bacon, sauteed onions, cheddar, and chipotle aioli. It's a big mountain burger. It's one of those burgers that you know you come in and you want that burger. You're like, ah. Oh. When you bite into it, you're going to taste the seasoning we put on the burger. You're going to taste the flavor of the meat. Then you're going to taste the char from the grill we cook it on. Then the sauce, then the cheese, then the bacon, and the onions all comes together in one bite. It's absolutely great. Of course, nothing is more comforting than a big bowl of mac and cheese, or as it's known here, Mike's mac and cheese. Michael is the owner, and Michael likes his mac and cheese. And they named it after me, not to my knowing, believe it or not. Basically, Mike orders it every day. I just find it delicious, and I'm not a very fancy eater to begin with. And while you can get it topped with juicy steak tips or spicy buffalo chicken, ordering it plain is just about perfect. It brings you back to being a kid. It's comfort food. You're going to get big pieces of macaroni, a real creamy cheese flavor, and a breadcrumb finish. After your meal, there are a few desserts to choose from, but the best bet is to ask for some marshmallows and take a seat at the Tipsy Toboggan's outdoor fire pit. You can go out there and roast marshmallows, you can hang out. It's great. It's just another added element to the restaurant. Outside by the fire pit or inside by the fireplace, the Tipsy Toboggan is a perfect way to end a day. No mountain needed. It's always a fun party where it seems to me like the locals and friends come and meet and have a good time. There's so much life in it and there's so much family here. I love this place. It's always home. I never feel like I'm going to work. <laughs>